from the mementos of the English martyrs and confessors for every day of the year and by Henry Sebastian Bowden. October 24. And then the judgment. South Robert Southwell, S.J. Through his Protestant father, part three. What will be your thoughts when, stripped of your mortal body, and turned forth out of the service and house room of this world, you are forced to enter uncouth and strange pass, and with unknown and ugly company, to be carried before the most severe judge, carrying in your own conscience your judgment, written in a perfect register of all your misdeeds, when you shall see him prepare to pass the sentence upon you against whom you have transgressed. He is to be the umpire, whom by so many offenses you have made your enemy. Then, not only the devils, but even the angels will plead against you and yourself, in spite of your will, be your own sharpest impeacher. What would you do in those dreadful exigencies, when you saw the ghastly dungeon and half gulf of hell breaking out with most fearful flames? Would you not then think a whole life too little to do penance for so many iniquities? Devote then the small remnant of your days to make an atonement with God. Wrestle no longer against the struggles of your conscience. Embrace his mercy before the time of rigor and return to the church lest he debar you his kingdom.